Now that I'm always home and have a bit more time on my hands, Netflix has become my new best friend. But whenever I open Netflix and try to pick something new to watch, I end up spending about 30 minutes just finding what I want to watch and maybe 10 minutes actually watching the show before falling asleep. And since your Netflix feed is driven by a recommendation system based on your watch history, it's easy to miss new titles or genres that you never tried before. So I wanted to make something that would give me completely random recommendations so I could jazz up my feed and try something new. And that's how this idea, what I've called Netflix matrimony, came to be. Hey, we're halfway through the series and as a nice break for today, I'll be doing some web dev. Since I worked as a full stack web developer for a year, this type of stuff is right up my alley. And I know there are a few things I'll have to do to make this project work, including use Flask to create a basic templating system that talks to an API, set up a basic one page site using Bootstrap, find a nice API, data set, or both to fetch information about the movies that we want to display, and create a fun UI that allows the user to interact with the Data. So let's take this step by step. First, creating the site itself. Since this project uses Flask, I like to start by downloading a basic Flask template from GitHub. This just has the necessary directories and structure that a typical Flask app requires. All Flask is, is a micro framework for Python that enables web development. And since I still have an unexclaimable distaste for JavaScript, this is a great alternative. Then to get the basic UI, I'll install Bootstrap and add some things like a nav bar and some CSS just to get started. But we'll make this prettier later. Now, the tricky slash fun part is finding a good API to fetch our data from. And since I'm cheap AF, it better also be free. First, I usually start with Kaggle since it has a ton of free data sets in CSV form. I found one here, which should work. But what I definitely need are movie posters so we can make our app look a bit like Tinder, which is our inspiration. So for that, we'll need an API. There were a few options that I found. First, something called Unogs, which is basically an API for just Netflix. This looked great, but had a very limited free plan, so no. The other options I found were the movie database and the open movie database. And for a reason that I don't remember, I went with the latter. Now that we have the data, we can use Flask to parse and display each entry. To do this on the Flask app, we just open the CSV and pick a random row. This isn't the sleekest option for sure, since a user is more likely to get repeated suggestions, but Oh well. Then from each row in the CSV, we can fetch most of the information we want, like the title, plot summary, and Netflix ID. Finally, let's try to query OMDB for the movie using its title to fetch the image and IMDB score. With all the data stored in a dictionary, we just pass that into the template for the homepage. Now in the homepage, we can just fetch whatever we need from the Flask app using these double squiggly braces pretty simple. Finally, it's time to make everything show up and look pretty. And warning, if you're like me, you can get carried away with the step. Some of the CSS fiddling I'll have to do include making this movie card, figuring out how to center everything, designing pretty buttons, picking a hella aesthetic font, and choosing the right colors. And now this looks relatively sufficient to my liking at least. So with that, my app is done. Of course, I took a bunch of shortcuts to get here. For example, the like or dislike buttons just refresh the page with a new movie, so there's no stored memory of the user's actions. But in the future, the app could remember what those users' preferences are and recommend new content based on those. I can also definitely make this a lot prettier with nifty animations and more UI elements on the page if I had time. But yeah, not so surprisingly, this was the easiest project thus far this week, and four days work? To say bad, if I do say so myself. In fact, I was so proud of myself that I took two of our dogs out for a nice sunset run to soak up the spring vibes. But yeah, what do you think? Would you actually use this app? What else would you want to add to it? Let me know in the comments down below. And yeah, that's it for today's video. Hopefully this series is inspiring you to create something new or at least serves as a brief distraction from your day. And if you like this video, please give it a big like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.